Welcome to another edition of A New Me, your weekly consultation with the Washington, D.C. area's best doctors and professionals. Our guest experts help you learn about the latest medical advances and procedures by providing you with the real information necessary to help you eliminate the dangers of making the wrong medical and cosmetic enhancement decisions. Get ready for your consultation. Coming up, we will be on location at Innova Fair Oaks Hospital discussing the Da Vinci Robotic Surgery, a breakthrough in surgical technology that may be the best treatment option available for many gynecologic conditions, including fibroids, endometriosis, prolapse, and others, with one of this area's top OBGYN physicians, Dr. Leonard Rosen. Dr. Rosen is board certified and received his medical training and residency from George Washington University Medical Center, and he holds a clinical professorship in the OBGYN department at GW. Dr. Rosen is a fellow of the American College of OBGYN, and he is a member of the prestigious AAGL, among other associations. Welcome, Dr. Rosen. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on our program. Got a lot to talk about regarding a breakthrough that actually has taken place recently. And we also have two patients that we're going to be interviewing a bit later in the interview. So let me begin, if I may, by asking you if you can tell us what the Da Vinci robotic surgery system is, Dr. Rosen, and how it works. Certainly. Thank you. The Da Vinci robotic system is a means to be able to perform minimally invasive gynecological surgery on our patient population rather than have to do open laparotomy that required major incisions on patients and long hospitalizations. We've uh, developed a robotic procedure, Da Vinci, that allows us to use minimally invasive ports to be able to gain access to the abdomen and perform our surgery rather than opening up a patient. It takes it to a whole different level through the advancements in technology, doesn't it? It most certainly does. Now, how long has this been available, doctor? Um, the Da Vinci robotic system was approved by the FDA for gynecological use in 2005. And what types of surgery can be performed utilizing this technology? Um, all types of surgeries across all specialties can um, utilize Da Vinci. I myself am a gynecologist, so I perform um, myomectomies, which are removal of uterine fibroids, hysterectomies, removal of the uterus, um, and or both ovaries. Um, we also can do sacrocopalpexies, which is a procedure for people who have pelvic organ prolapse. Um, in the arena of gynecological oncology, um, oncological surgery can be performed with no dissections as well with the use of the robot. Mm, very interesting. I would imagine that the success rate of surgery would increase significantly using this technology. Once again, open procedures required long hospitalizations, prolonged healing for the patient. Um, we are now doing our surgeries, relatively speaking, on an outpatient basis. About 85% of all our patients go home the same day. Um, it is the ability to do a procedure that we had to open someone minimally invasively so that we are utilizing a stereoscopic um, camera that allows us to see our objects magnified tenfold in three dimensions. We have the capability of utilizing our wrists as if we were open and we're able to use our hands. The devices will turn 540 degrees. So it's wonderful technology and affords us the opportunity to allow our patients to have minimally invasive surgery and go home same day. Yes, indeed. And I would think right off the bat that that's one of the major benefits of the Da Vinci system as opposed to the traditional open surgery. Correct. Are there any other advantages of the Da Vinci system? Again, since we are not opening patients and doing large incisions, the incidence of infection is significantly reduced. Um, the loss of blood is significantly reduced because we have finite um, localization magnified, as I said, 10 times. So blood loss is significantly reduced. The overall um, 
post-operative um, experience for the patient is significantly better than it is in an open procedure. That's certainly very good to know, and I would think, but I want to ask you to make sure that this technology would reduce the recovery time for patients because you're looking at a minimally invasive procedure as opposed to the more traditional open surgery procedure. Absolutely correct. Um, again, the majority of our patients are back to work within a two week period of time, whereas open procedures, it would be in a six to eight week. Um, so they're back to work quicker, they have less pain, and their overall experience is uh, significantly improved. And I wanted to ask you, Dr. Rosen, uh, to utilize the Da Vinci robotic surgery technology. I would imagine that the amount of training to be qualified to utilize this is quite in depth. And I wanted to ask you if you could please tell us a bit about that. Certainly. So um, Da Vinci is um, manufactured and proprietarily owned by Intuitive Surgical. And they have an entire program that's required in order for somebody to be able to gain access for utilization of the Da Vinci robot. And that includes didactic lectures, it includes site visitations to other Da Vinci trained uh, individuals. It includes laboratory work um, for the prospective surgeon prior to uh, working on a human being. Once they've reached that point, then they are proctored by Da Vinci trained proctors to assist them in their first um, several cases to make sure that they're um, comfortable with the technology. So it's obviously quite extensive as you just mentioned. It is. I wanted to ask you, Dr. Rosen, how is Da Vinci changing the overall experience for not only the surgeon, but the hospital as well? Uh, it's changed uh, dramatically how we uh, take care of patients. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier, in a traditional laparotomy where we would have to open a patient up, uh, the patient would be hospitalized for anywhere from three to five days, uh, recuperative period at home for anywhere from six to eight weeks. We've now shortened that to uh, same day surgery. Patient literally can go home the same day, a recuperative period of two weeks. Um, and this will, uh, in my opinion, help to cut down the costs of medical care because these patients are not hospitalized for a prolonged period of time. It will also help the workforce because these patients will be able to get back to their jobs in a shorter period of time than what we were traditionally doing. Yes, indeed, it truly is a breakthrough in many areas. Welcome, Rose. You have endometriosis, uh, chronic anemic. That is uh, correct. And can you tell us as far as these problems that you were experiencing and how obviously they were taken care of by Dr. Rose? By Dr. Rosen. Um, Obviously, to get to this point, um, there is a, a, a history uh, involved. I started seeing Dr. Rosen around 12 years ago, just as my general OBGYN, and um, was married two years, ready to start a family, was having trouble uh, getting pregnant, needed to have a laparoscopy, discovered then I had endometriosis, did not know that up until that point. Um, with Dr. Rosen's help, was able to conceive first child, and had he delivered that C-section, and then uh, had trouble with the second child. Again, had a laparoscopy, cleaned up a little bit of the endometriosis, was able to have child number two, another C-section by Dr. Rosen. Oh. Uh, flawless, all surgeries have been flawless. Um, and uh, got to the point where I had been chronic anemic, um, of course continued to have endometriosis and was chronic anemic for many years. That anemia was causing other issues, other health related issues. Um, for me, we thought we would try uh, birth control pills. My body never took well to birth control pills uh, for some reason. That's just my chemistry. Um, we tried an IUD. Again, IUD did not work for me. It works for many women, yes. but again, did not work for my chemistry. So and these were some of the other options that do have. work for a number of women, but obviously not for all That's women. Right. And they weren't working in your particular That's case. That's correct. And I was also um, provided with the opportunity to do an ablation. I understand that is an, another one that really helps women yes. in my situation. And for me, because I was so chronic anemic and it was causing me to have other medical issues, we said, listen, let's just go straight for the uterus and get that out of there. Stop the bleeding right away. Because as I understand, ablations really are, are we were firstly um, created to 
help heavy bleeding go to half the bleeding, or but they've gotten so good that it has eliminated bleeding altogether. But we didn't want to take that chance with me, so we went straight for the hysterectomy. And then that was taken care of, obviously, through Dr. Rosen. Through Dr. Rosen, yes. I honestly don't think I would let anyone else touch me at this point. I mean, he's 12 years, bounced back from every surgery, never an issue whatsoever. Not to mention two beautiful children, two beautiful seven children. and two years old, seven and two. right? That's correct. Mm-hmm. That is two wonderful. Boys. What a, what is great wonderful. blessings. With uh, having the extensive amount of surgery that I have had, you would think that I would have a great deal of scarring on my abdominal area, my torso area, and you would be shocked to see that the incisions are so tiny. You really would never know that I've had five surgeries done to my torso area. They're very, very tiny. Um, and that's the one thing that my husband and I were amazed by. When you have medical issues, you, you really do not care about the aesthetics. You know that you need to have the surgery. But once you recover and you're feeling well, when you look down, you think, wow, I'm, I'm very impressed. You're pleasantly surprised. Yes. Um, not that that is something you are concerned about going into surgery, but you're very pleasantly surprised that, that, that you can hardly even tell you had surgery. Lastly, before we let you go, Rose, uh, what would you tell all the viewers about Dr. Rosen and his practice, uh, Fairfax OBGYN Associates? We can already see you're very happy, but if you can just let the viewers know what they should expect from based on your 12-year history. It's a wonderful experience. They make you feel as if you're family. Ah, I told you I'd get choked up. They are life-altering, and they're just beautiful people. On that note, I'd like to thank you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us and being a guest on our program. Thank you. Welcome, Maureen. Thank you. It's great to have you with us as well. Now, I understand that you've been a patient of Dr. Rosen's for approximately a year and a half, and I wanted to uh, begin by asking you what brought you to Dr. Rosen. Uh, It was an annual exam, and um, he asked me the question of how my menstrual cycle was. I um, told him that it was very heavy. Um, very regular, very heavy. I did miss one period, which I'd never missed on, uh, unless I had my, my children, was pregnant. And he said, um, that's not normal for somebody who's 47. You should not be bleeding as heavily as you are explaining that you're bleeding. And he sent me in for an ultrasound of my uterus. Um, and that showed right there in his, in, his, um, in his office. He had the equipment, which was very convenient for me. Um, and he said that my uterine lining was uh, three times the size that it should have been and um, he suggested we would go in and do a biopsy to see if there was any cancerous issues going on. Okay. Um, So I'm a get it done kind of girl and I said let's you know let's go ahead and schedule it and find out what's going on and um, he uh, prescribed progesterone to try to shed the uterine lining. We talked about ablation, we talked about some alternatives And um, he asked me a very interesting question. He said, um, how attached are you to your uterus? Mm. And I had already had my children and was not um, starting a family. And, you know, he he suggested all their alternatives, that we could continue to go in and do ablation. We could um, try the progesterone to shed the uterine lining and see if it it would go down in size. We tried that. I went in for a follow-up ultrasound, and there was no change whatsoever. So I could, uh, my options were to continue every six months and get biopsies to make sure that the cancer didn't grow or do a uh, complete hysterectomy. And the challenge there was to decide whether or not I wanted my cervix and my ovaries removed. We talked about those options. I studied it well. Um, Mm -hmm. I actually went for a second opinion, and um, the second opinion confirmed what Dr. Rosen had suggested. And we went in for a complete hysterectomy almost a year ago today, January 3rd. My goodness. So after looking at all the options, obviously this problem was discovered, as you mentioned a few moments ago, during your annual exam. And from that point forward, you saw what the options were. Uh, Dr. Rosen recommended the hysterectomy as the permanent way to remove it, as opposed to coming back every six months. Mm -hmm. And you've had it done. And now all that has been removed. Yes, it's all been removed and taken care of. And, um, you know, the options, the, the surgery, I think, was the most fascinating for me because I come from an IT background. And, oh. and when he talked about the da Vinci surgical system, and um, I had no idea how well-versed and experienced and skilled he was until I had done my research. Um, and that was just phenomenal. Um, 
Beth, his uh, his surgical assistant, you know, he would he suggested that he not do any surgeries without her. She was absolutely phenomenal. Um, so the whole procedure for me was fascinating and uh, effortless. I wanted to ask you, just like I asked Rose, for all the viewers that are watching, what would you tell them about your experience uh, from when you first came to today with Dr. Rosen and the wonderful folks over at Fairfax OBGYN Associates? Well, the testimony I give to that is I, my children see Dr. Rosen. The uh, office staff is impeccable. The hospital here is just fabulous. Um, very highly recommended. He makes you feel comfortable and at home, and um, he's a very humble surgeon, very humble man. Well, on that note, I would like to thank you for sharing your experience and joining us and being a guest on our program, Maureen. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're now back with Dr. Rosen. Both Rose and Maureen are very, very pleased uh, with their entire experience with you and your practice. Obviously, Rose has been, you for, with, has been with you for 12 years, Maureen uh, more recent, about a year and a half. But uh, our research has confirmed that as well, that a number of your patients speak so highly of you and your practice, doctor. Well, thank you. Now, we've only got a few moments left. I wanted to ask you before I let you go, Dr. Rose, and you and your practice, Fairfax OBGYN Associates here in, in Virginia, have certainly established a reputation for excellence, not only in your specialties, but also in patient care. And I wanted to ask you, what would you say is a big reason uh, that separates you and your practice apart from many of the others around here? Since my training at George Washington University, I've always had a, a desire to try and minimize um, pain, discomfort for my patients that were needing surgery. And so um, as part of that training, I was uh, fortunate enough to have um, mentors that were involved in laparoscopic surgery on the forefront. Um, and this was back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, so that um, I had um, an in-depth training in minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery um, where I performed my first laparoscopic hysterectomy in 1989 in this country. So I was one of the first to do that in this country. I've now taken to the next step and moved from straight stick laparoscopy yes. where our ability to maneuver our hands is somewhat limited to robotics, which has opened up an incredible arena for those people that have not been as fortunate as I to have laparoscopic training, but are still using laparotomy as a means to an end. And now they too will be able to afford minimally invasive surgery to their patients. So um, that's where the robot is taking us. Yes, indeed. And on that note, I certainly would like to thank you, Dr. Rosen, for educating us, enlightening us about the breakthrough with the Da Vinci uh, technology and the system that you've described and the many, many benefits that not only patients are experiencing but hospitals and even employers with people getting back to the workforce quicker as a result. So thanks for joining us and being a guest in our program. We'd love to have you back on in the future. Thank you very much.